Здравствуйте! I'm very pleased to see you again at the Russian News Time. Today we'll explore the Russian culture and find out what's happened in our community. The New South Wales School of Languages is a place where everyone can learn a language. But today is a special day, as today is the last day where the 12 will meet formally here at school, as well as today is a special award ceremony for those studying Russian, like me. This is an annual event for the graduating Year 12 students. The ceremony was greeted by Krista Ernst Wilson, head teacher, as well as Sana Zreika, deputy principal. The New South Wales School of Languages um, is a languages specialist school and it offers 12 languages um, for students for, from Year 9 to Year 12. Um, our students come from the Sydney Metropolitan um, and they can be enrolled in either a government school or a private school. How do students find out about this school? Students can find out about us on, on the website and we also um, have uh, contact with a lot of schools that, that know that we are the languages that we offer. Russian is one of the languages that is studied at here at the school. Um, how are the progresses of the students? Russian is one of the languages um, taught and we teach we offer Russian from year 9 to year 12. Um, it's a great opportunity for students from all over New South Wales to come together um, and continue their le learning their um, the, the language and the culture and it builds up that um, connecting with other students from, from across the state so it's a great um, program we've got wonderful teachers who've got expertise and who are uh, qualified in the teaching of Russian at New South Wales. And what would the best thing about the school be? Um, I think the best thing about the school is the, the individual um, interaction with their teacher and teachers building up and really getting to know the students um, where they're at in, in their language skills and, and also having that opportunity for students to interact with other Russian if they're isolated um, and, and just bringing them together. So it's like a great environment to find friends? It is a great environment to find friends and also to, to share that knowledge and, and that cultural exchange, um, but also to build up on, on their language skills. And um, this is where that, you know, they, they have that same um, background and that same um, you know, um, vision in terms of their language skills and um, hopefully continue in the future. For many students, Russian is a second language and at this school they improve their knowledge. Hi, my name is Levi Rosenswit and I'm a student here at Open High School, Russian Year 12. So, were you yourself born in Russia? Um, no, I was actually born in Sydney, Australia, but I did live in Russia for a couple years. So, the main question from me to you is, why do you learn the language? Um, I think there's a really strong connection between family if you speak the your language and heritage and there's a nice connection with your uh, roots and that's really important to bet on connect with your family and friends. How does the New South Wales School of Languages help you with your Russian? Um, I think they've helped introduce me to many liter uh, literature, to a lot of literature that I haven't seen on a regular basis uh, coming from a family that lived in Australia for a long time but I feel like my Russian has improved dramatically in the grammatical mm -hmm. sense as well. That was obviously quite a big journey. What was the most challenging thing for you? Um, I started speaking actually as my first Russian as my first language because my parents would speak to me as a young child. So I'm not, I wouldn't say it was very challenging, but it was difficult to learn what the examiners were expecting of me during the exam. So that was nice to learn the format and the style of different writings and how to express yourself on paper better. Mm -hmm. What would the experience uh, that you would carry away with you be? Like perhaps a memory that has stuck with you about the school? Um, I think it's very important just to the different scenario of being in a class with people that are all or most are from Russia, born in Russia. And this is very unusual for me as a, most of the kids are, at my school uh, from Australia and it's interesting to see how the uh, cultural background impacts the different uh, knowledge and different uh, types of uh, character that you see in the class and that was really nice to uh, be introduced to people that have similar worldviews. Hi, my name is Jana. I'm doing Russian Year 12 at Open High School. You recently just moved from Russia to here in Australia. Uh, yeah, I moved to Australia like two years ago. So, yeah. And how has that been for you? Uh, it's been quite challenging to see um, Australia to experience new country because um, I've lived in Russia for 16 years. So 
um, Australia is really different to Russia and it's been challenging for me to adapt to new culture, new language. How did you hear about uh, the New South Wales School of Languages and uh, what was? how did the class welcome you? Um, I first heard it from my um, international student coordinator and she told me that I can do my I can do Russian at open high school and I was so like happy because Russian is my first language and like I wanted to do it because um, I find it really um, how do you say like, like fun and I found it like I wanted to meet someone Russian because I didn't know anyone Russian in Australia and in that way I could meet um, some people that I could speak to in, on my own language and I could um, share my experiences as in um, so they could understand me as, in the way that Australians couldn't. And um, the class was very welcoming and um, I found a lot of friends here. Yeah, so I love this school. The Russian Australian Representative Council congratulated and awarded the students. Can you tell me about the awards that the students have received today? Yeah, the students received the book, which one we received from the federal agency called Ross Сотрудничество. We uh, distributed them through the Russian community, through the school, and the open high school also received them in last year and this year. Maria Vladimirovna is one of the teachers who guided the students on their way. Our continuous course was introduced two years ago, and the first exam took place in 2016. Uh, this is a new course uh, which is based on the significant changes because uh, the demographics of the Russian community in Sydney has changed, and most of our students were born in Australia or uh, came to Australia as young children. So the continuous course really is tailored for this uh, kind of the new generation of Russian students who are bilingual, uh, and uh, for many of them, uh, Russian is not their first language or is not the only language that they use. And I believe that this is the course that really provides a very good insight into both Russian language and Russian culture within the Australian context, intercultural context. And um, our course provides uh, not only um, st studies in grammar, not only preparing our students for the high school certificate, but also bringing back uh, to them Russian history, Russian culture, Russian traditions that link them uh, with their families in Russia, with their relatives, so they can keep uh, this uh, Russian tradition alive in Australia and they all contribute to it. The students have studied Russian for two years, maybe even four for those who started in Year 9. But it was definitely a journey with lots of challenges, with lots of different events, but it was definitely a great journey to take. We will continue our program after the short break. <music>